We are told that a, b, c, and d are integers, and that a, c plus b, d equals 34, while a, d plus b, c equals 43. So we are asked to solve for a plus b plus c plus d. Now, um, I wonder how we will be able to solve for this. Like, we have four uh, unknowns, but we have only two equations, but there's a way to do that there's a way around that so let's call this equation one and this equation two as long as they are all integers is very possible so let's add equation one to equation two okay so equation one plus equation two we will have ac plus ad ac plus ad plus bd plus bc is equal to 34 plus 43, okay? So we have AC plus AD plus BD plus BC is equal to, we are going to have 77, right? Is equal to 77. All right, now let's factorize this by grouping. Let's factorize by grouping. So if we group this and this and this and this, we will have that here we have a they have a in common so let's factorize the a out we open our brackets so we are going to have ac divided by a we have c right c plus ad divided by a we have d remaining all right plus now in this one this particular one we have what b in common so let's bring the b out now bd divided by b we will have d remaining right so we have d plus now bc divided by b we are going to have c remaining okay and everything is equal to 77 all right that means we can say that a plus b right this plus this multiplied by c plus d c plus d since they are the same so c plus d is equal to what 77 all right now we are told that a b c and d are integers so if they are integers that means that a b the value should be more than one okay yes because it's only when you add half to half that you are going to get one as one of the factors here so that simply means that one of the factors here and here can never be one all right so like this 77 now there are so many these are the factors of 77 one multiplied by 77 right or 77 multiplied by 1 or 11 multiplied by 7 or 7 multiplied by 11 so these are the factors of um 77 but we are going to remove this since we can't have one as either of the factors here right since we are told that a b c d are integers so that means that we are going to concentrate on these two, 11 times 7 and 7 times 11. Now, if that is the case, so we have that A plus B multiplied by C plus D is equal to 11 times 7, right? Or 7 times 11, any one. Now, if we consider this fact now, so it means that A plus B, A plus B is equal to 11, and c plus d is equal to 7, right? Now, if we are to consider it this way, that simply means that, permit me to clean here, that simply means that these are the possible values of a and b. The possible values of a and b are 1 plus 10, 2 plus 9, 3 plus um, 8, 4 plus 7, okay, and 5 plus 6. All right, now, these are the possible values of A and B, these ones, or the other way around. Now, for C and D, we have 1 plus 6, 2 plus 5, 3 plus um, 4, 4 plus 3, 5. So, it's going to be from here to here. These are the possible values. Okay, now, we are told to solve for what? A plus B plus C plus D. So, we are going to have, this is equal to what? If we choose the first possibility which is this we will have 1 plus 10 plus 1 plus 6 right and if we do that we have 1 plus 10 is 11 11 plus 1 is 12 
12 plus 6 is 18. Now, if we should consider the second one, notice that if we still add this second possibility, we are still going to have 2 plus 9 is 11, and 2 plus 5 is 7. We still get 18. If we consider the third one, the same thing. Even if we consider the fact that this is equal to 7 times 11, and we flip this around, we are still going to get A plus B plus C plus D to be equal to 18. So that means that this is the answer to the question. Yes. Thank you so much for watching. Have a lovely day. Bye-bye.